everybody. So I am going to jump straight into the video because this is going to be a long one. I am doing a tattoo tour. Um, I love watching these videos on YouTube. I personally love Snitchery's videos. If you guys don't know who Snitchery is, you need to look her up. She's an amazing cosplayer, amazing makeup artist, just amazing person overall. And she has tattoo videos also like way more than I do. Um, but I love watching people explain the art that's on their bodies and why it's there. And tattoos are just an amazing conversation piece. And it really shows you who a person is through the art that's on their bodies that they get to carry with them for the rest of their life. I'm gonna try to not rush through it, but I'm also gonna try and not like be super slow. So that way you guys don't get bored. <laughs> but the first tattoo that I ever got was a star on my middle finger. Um, I got a star because honestly it reminds me of my mom. And it reminds me of all the women in my life that are really strong and bright and powerful. Um, obviously, I'm very proudly Colombian. And whenever I would go back to Colombia to see my family, um, when we would land, the stars would be really, really bright. And not to make Colombia sound bad, but it's because of the pollution. <laughs> they look really bright. Um, and it's just really nice. It reminds me that I'm with all of my family and it makes me really happy. And the women in my life have always reminded me to be myself and to work hard and to never let anyone tell me anything different um, when it comes to whatever I wanna do. And they're stars, you know? So that's why I got that. Why I got it on my middle finger, I couldn't tell you. I don't know. I just picked a random spot. <laughs> I wanted a hand tattoo. I knew that because I always wanted to be able to see it. Um, and I always wanted it to be seen no matter what time of year it was. But it's kind of crude that it's on my middle finger. But yeah, that is what it is. Pain level, it was, it didn't really hurt. It was like maybe a three out of 10, maybe like a 2.5, it was not that bad. Um, and the duration was like maybe 45 seconds to a minute. It really did not, did not take that long. Um, but yeah, that's that one. And then the second one that I ever got was actually this guy. Um, it is Saturn and a crescent moon and then this little like accent star. Um, when I was really young and I was learning about astronomy and I was learning about the solar system, I always loved Saturn. I always imagined sitting on the rings of Saturn and just kind of like staring off literally into space and just thinking if I could go anywhere in the world just to like study or just to be alone, it would be Saturn's rings. Cause who doesn't want to stare off into space? You know, it's, it's a beautiful place. It's literally endless. And the crescent moon um, is my favorite phase of the moon. It's like really, I don't, the best way I can describe it is that things aren't completely over, but they haven't yet just begun. And I actually called them croissant moons growing up as well. So <laughs> it just, I don't know, it's just always been my favorite phase and combining them all together makes me really happy. I think that is really cute. Um, pain level was maybe a little bit higher than this guy. Even though this is straight on my bone, it was just quick and done. This took a little bit more time but this was probably like a five out of 10. I also didn't eat a lot that day. Um, I recommend eating and drinking a lot of water more than you think um, before you get your tattoos done. This is just my personal advice um, because if you're kind of scared of needles going in and out of your skin, um, a super rapid movement, you should, you should do that so you don't pass out. Um, this was probably about 10 minutes, I think. Um, but I really like it. It reminds me of my childhood and being young, which is crazy to say, cause I'm still young. I'm almost 23, <laughs> but this just reminds me of like middle school me. And I like it. The third tattoo that I ever got is actually on my hand that you guys have definitely seen before. Um, this is a lightning bolt and it symbolizes my dad. My birth father passed when I was, I can't remember, my mom told me, I was either two months old or six months old, but I definitely wasn't old enough to remember him. But the person that my mom married after, my stepdad, has basically been my father my whole life because he's the only 
guy that I really remember ever being my dad and he was a master electrician. Um, he's retiring soon but I spent most of my childhood because we just never got a babysitter and I went to jobs with him all the time and learned so much about electricity at a really young age. Um, is like why I got this tattoo. It like reminds me of work ethic and working hard and I got both of my tattoos um, on my hands. I wanted to get them on my hands for my parents because it like when I'm at work and I'm doing things all the time it just reminds me to work hard and that I have people in my life that are always gonna back me up. That's my dedication to my dad. Um, this one was on a pain scale maybe like a little bit a little bit more than the other few. Um, it was probably like a 6.5 out of 10. It wasn't horrible, but because it was on the like, I, I guess like the, the crotch, I don't know, that area of the hand, it hurt a little bit more because there's not as much fat. It's literally just like thin skin. Um, and I'm happy I didn't get it colored in. I went with an old friend of mine and she got hers colored in and I didn't really like how it looked. I'm happy that I kept the stencil kind of shape. Um, but this one is just so cool. I, I really love this tattoo. It's really badass in my opinion. And it probably took like five minutes overall to do. The other ones that I have um, is this plant tattoo. The last two that I'm gonna show you by the way were done by women, well by one woman. Um, I have never been tattooed by women before. All of the other three have been by men, and I want to point that out. There is not a lot of women in the tattoo industry, at least it looks like it, and I love women that are tattoo artists because, again, it's very male-dominated, and it's just really cool. I don't know. I respect women all the time, but I especially love women in the tattoo world. Um, but the last two were done by a coworker of mine. We actually don't work at the same Starbucks, but she works at one that's about 10 minutes away from where I work. And she is also an apprentice at a local tattoo shop. And she was having a flash sheet. I can't say that. Flash sheet, like sale. <laughs> for um, the Black Lives Matter movement in the summer. I believe she donated it. I can't remember if it was to bail funds in my state or if it was just to like the collective charity in total. But this was one of the um, tattoos of the flash sheet. This is honestly, it means a lot to me. It reminds me of last summer a lot, but um, this is one of the tattoos, the only tattoo that I have that personally doesn't have meaning. It means a lot to me and I love it, but I never thought that I was going to be someone with like a plant flower tattoo, you know? I always thought that I was going to have like these kinds, but this surprised me. I surprised myself by getting this tattoo. Um, this one did not hurt. I don't know what it is. I think maybe because I have more like fat on this part of my body. Um, but this also probably lasted, this was the second longest tattoo I had. I think this was about an hour, an hour and 20 minutes. Tab, if you come across this video and you check it out, um, please correct me in the comments if I'm right or wrong. But this really didn't hurt. My boyfriend was also there and her and I talked a lot. Um, and so did her boss as well. He helped out um, and like guiding her and stuff, so. Overall, amazing, amazing tattoo. I love every single one of my tattoos, but this one is the most surprising one to me. I never thought I would get one of these. And then the last one, I might get sappy over, but it is a crescent moon with an astronaut that I named Cosmo. I actually purposefully got it on my right forearm when I have this one on my left because this tattoo um, reminds me of my childhood, or I didn't know if I said it or not, but I wanted to be an astronaut really badly when I was younger and then quickly realized that I would freak out in space. It's very little and tiny, and the other one represents me now, I think. I've done a whole lot of growth. A lot of us have done a whole lot of growth um, in the past year. The past year has been a crazy time for the world, and I think moments where like we kind of realized who we are and what we won't stand up for anymore and what we will and I think I'm at a point in my life where I really do know who I am and I know what I want and I know how amazing I am honestly and since I was when I was really young I wanted to be an astronaut um, to kind of 
tip a hat to younger me, I got an astronaut in the middle. This is actually based off of an inspiration picture that I just saw on Google. And it just reminds me, like, here's your before and here's your after, and you're amazing and you should keep being amazing. And it's crazy, now that I look at it, I never thought of it this way, but this is the first tattoo that I ever got. And on the same arm, this is the last one that I've gotten, my most recent. And when I got this, I was not happy. I was not in a good place in my life. I was really freaking sad. And when I got this, I was probably in the healthiest state physically, mentally, emotionally, spiritually, overall. I don't know why I'm holding it like that. There we go. <laughs> I got this one. Um, I think I'm the best that I've ever been. So it comes full circle. <laughs> this one hurt like a bed, um, especially when we got to this right here. Solid black areas really freaking hurt. Anyone with tattoos um, will tell you that. Really sucks, but it was worth it. I came out with a beautiful tattoo. Um, it was probably, it was probably on an eight out of 10 pain scale. I'm not gonna lie to you. It was a lot. Um, I, again, was drinking water the whole time and <laughs> making sure that I didn't pass out. Um, she was also amazing at talking to me the whole time, making sure that I was good. Um, but yeah, this was the last one. Overall, those are all the tattoos that I have, and I made a pact with my mother that I wouldn't get more. Um, my last one might be a memorial piece to her. <laughs> um, I kind of want to end on a note with that, that if you want to get a tattoo, you totally should. I wouldn't, like, if I could go back in time and get a better tattoo than this, I would, but I don't regret it because it just reminds me of who I am or who I was and all of the things that I went through. It's marker milestone of your life, you know? So I really, really like the idea of tattoos and I'm like, oh, I don't know how I feel about this in 10 years. But at the same time, like, don't just get a unicorn on your butt just because you feel like it one minute, you know? That's all I gotta say. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, and I hope you found it interesting. If you have any questions, if you need any advice when it comes to tattoos, um, let me know. Again, I'm not a tattoo artist, I'm not a doctor. I don't specialize in skincare like that. I know basic skincare and makeup, but not like when it comes to getting needles in your body. So, um, if you have any questions, let me know down below. I appreciate you guys watching this video and I will see you next time. Bye.